What's up, guys? Good morning, man. It's August 12th, uh, about 6.26 a.m., and I got I got some content to drop for you guys. So, man, I was listening to E.T., and he was talking about, you know, his life. He was talking about, he was giving a speech, and he was saying how he was still sick, like, from the things that happened to his life, and I was just kind of thrown back by that. Like, man, here's the top motivational speaker in the world right now. There's millions of people that listen to him, and he's exposing his weaknesses, talking about how he's still sick, but yet people still take his advice every day. That's crazy, man. And and so I was just thinking about it. And man, I, I, I know that I have some problems. I've always been very open about, you know, who I am, what I'm going through, all that kind of stuff. Right. And so even though I've put in a lot of work to get a lot of experience and try to overcome all these demons and all, all this negative thinking, all this negative programming. Like at the end of the day, I have my problems too. So there's like, there's like two sides of me, right? There's the positive Joel and there's the negative Joel. And the positive Joel is the one everybody loves. Like that dude can pretty much do anything in the world that he wants to. And people love him. They want to follow him and he's on point. He gets shit done. He makes people laugh, all that stuff. Right. And the negative Joel it's on the other side of the spectrum. Like whenever I'm in that negative mode, you can look into my eyes and people, they don't even want to be the, be around me. Like the vibe, it comes off me. And it's one of the things that I really have to work on changing because I can feel it. And it, it feels like, it feels like there's something that's, that's just took over my, 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 my mind almost. And it's like this feeling on my chest to where I can't, it's just this deep pressure pressure and there's just so much anger inside me that I constantly have to fight just to calm down because my blood pressure is so high, my heart rate's so high, and it's like this extreme emotion. And whenever I get in that negative mode, I get in that angry mode or sad mode, it seems to me like it, it, it it's so deep because I'm so intense. The way that my brain's wired up, it's so intense. Like somebody might feel like that a couple times in their whole life. They might get that mad as to where I might have to deal with that on a daily basis. Um, so there's a lot of rewiring I have to do and there's a lot of healing that I have to do. So me being able to recognize that, man, I, I'm still, my heart's still broken from all the shit that I've been through and I'm still trying to heal. Like I'm, I'm still sick on the inside. So understanding that I'm still sick on the inside, whenever I'm facing all the problems and the challenges that, that come throughout my day. And sometimes that I fail, I have to realize like, okay, well, I'm not at a hundred percent yet. I'm not all the way healthy yet. So for instance, like take, take my man, Dak Prescott, he broke his ankle last year. Like if he would have tried to come back a couple months after he broke his ankle, he would not have been able to play the same. So he had to heal up. He had to heal up and be able to get, take all this time and all this therapy to be able to heal, to get his legs strong enough to where he can come back and play a hundred percent. So that happens to us in life. Sometimes there's things that can happen that, that break us, that, that make us sick and that we have to heal up and, and it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of therapy in order for you to get, get back right. In order for us to get back right, in order for us to heal and we we might not be able to operate at 100 percent until we're all the way healed up. So a lot of times whenever we're judging ourselves and we're putting ourselves through the fire and we're doing that self-analysis and then we're looking at our failures, trying to figure out how we can get better. You got to ask yourself, have I done everything I had to do to heal up? Have I healed this scab? Have I healed this wound? Because if we haven't healed that wound yet, then it's going it's going to continue to bleed it's going to continue to bleed over into our day-to-day -day life it's going to continue to bleed over into our day-to-day -day relationships you know the hardest thing for me sometimes is just to get my fucking head right i'm a commission only salesman i'm a business owner if i don't go get work i don't eat so i have to have my head right in order to make sales in order to make money and so a lot of times the hardest thing I have to struggle with is just putting a smile on my face because there might have been some things that happened in my day that that cut me and opened up that wound. And here I am. I'm still wounded. So I'm walking around with a broke leg and I'm trying to perform the best I can, but I'm still wounded with the broke leg. And so it's like, man, give yourself a break, bro, because you're out here playing with a broke leg. 
work on healing yourself. So then I also had to dedicate time to myself to self-improve, to heal myself, to heal that wound, to heal that injury, to heal my sickness inside of me so I can go operate at 100% and be the best version of myself. I don't even know where I'm at yet. Like I, it's hard for me to gauge. It might be hard for you to gauge. But the best thing that we can gauge is is, is what is our self-improvement like? Are we getting better? And if we if we've regressed, then we got to do everything we can to work harder, to get better, to move forward. If we've made progress, then we have to take that and say, OK, dude, you've got to or, or 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 OK, person, you've got a little bit better. Um, let's continue to work hard. But you've made progress. Good job. Like you got to give yourself some credit for that. And like I said before, in some of my videos, like you can't always expect excellence. You can't or you can't expect perfection like you can strive for excellence, but you can't always expect perfection because. At the end of the day, if you're expecting that, then you're constantly going to let yourself down. Or if you win, uh, if you win 99 times and you lose that hundred time, then it's going to be, you know, it, it'll crush you if you're expecting perfection. So don't let whenever failures happen, don't let them crush you and don't let them bring you all the way down to where you feel like you can't. That it's not worth trying anymore because that's what happens to me. Like some shit happens and then I feel like, man, no matter what the fuck I do, no matter what I do. If something messes up and something gets in my way, something falls out of place or something happens that messes up and keeps me from my goal. And that really makes me feel like, what is the fucking point of trying? Or maybe somebody in my life that I'm close to, uh, uh, maybe it feels like there's nothing good enough that I can do for them. Or maybe the person, the people that I was working for or, or doing a job for or something like that. Like those types of things really cut me deep. They might cut you deep too, because it makes it seem like, what is the point of trying? But we have to understand that the the work that we put in, the effort that we put in, it always means something. So even if we don't always meet everybody's needs, like if everybody ain't always 100% satisfied, we have to realize like we can only control ourselves. So in our relationships, if we're gauging, you know, what 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 is our success rate? If we're gauging our success rate off everybody around us happiness, then we're failing because you can't make everybody happy. You can control your own happiness. So just to let you guys know, man, that's just that's just some shit that I've learned. Um, and I, I want I want everything that I learned to be able to pass down because hopefully these videos stay around for a while. You know, maybe one day my kids will watch them or you know, I never know who they might affect in a positive way. So that's why I make these things. It isn't it isn't necessarily to get uh, any recognition or anything like that. It's just to pass down wisdom and pass down some love to you guys. And sometimes just to get some things off my chest and to listen to that little voice in my head that tells me to make these videos. Um, so just remember that, guys, man, if, if you're going through some shit right now and 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 you fail sometimes or you don't always hit your goals or you you're not always excellent or you're not always perfect, like just just take it. An inventory on yourself and realize whenever you're injured realize whenever you, you're sick and work on that and whenever you're injured or you're sick then don't beat yourself up if you're not operating at a level of 100 percent of people around you that might not be sick or they might already be healed up they might not be injured so you can't compare yourself self to that remember comparison is the thief of joy i do it all the time uh, it's one of the reasons why i turn my social media off for a while because i find myself comparing myself to so many people so you can only compare yourself to yourself of beating the old you of being better than the day that you were before so just focus on that guys um if there's ever anything i can do to help you guys send me a message send me an email you got me here in underground Mo motivation on my uh facebook if if you're watching this on youtube you could send me uh an email at joelmotivates.com Please follow me on Facebook. If you're following me on Facebook, then go subscribe to my YouTube channel on Underground Motivation. Uh, check me out on Instagram, The Real Underground Motivation. Uh, also got Twitter, Underground Motivation 1. So just doing this out of love, you guys. I, I, I love you guys, and I need to do this to heal myself. This helps me. This helps give me a purpose. Uh, knowing that my voice helps you guys and gives other people inspiration that gives me uh, so much fuel to my fire. It gives me so much fuel whenever I'm in those deep, hard battles, because like I've said many times, I, I, I'm in this fight with you guys. I'm I'm sick. I'm healing. I'm I'm injured and I'm trying to get better. So uh, 
Oh, I'm always praying for you guys. I love you guys. If there's ever anything I can do, like I said, to help, just send me a message. And uh, man, whatever's keeping you down today, don't let that shit define you. Don't let your don't let your past define you. And don't let anything anybody says keep you from being the best version of yourself, keep you from your joy or keep you from being happy. You guys go make it happen today. Be the best version of yourself and get it in.